Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. It is the middle of the year. It's the middle of 2021. You can set goals at any time that you freaking want. But there's something about the start of the year and something about the middle of the year that makes you kind of more motivated. We're gonna take advantage of the fact that it's just the middle of the year. <laughs> and we're gonna make some goals. And today, you're gonna learn how to make some goals that you will actually stick to. My name is Jim. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh, it's a pair of fingers. Okay. Okay. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chammy. I am a law student, a multiple business person. Oh no. I do a lot of things. And the only way that I manage to do all these things is by setting goals and achieving them. I have stuck to a lot of goals. I also have not stuck to some goals <laughs> and over the last couple of months I've really analyzed the goals that I've actually stuck to such as doing a fitness journey, creating a business that like got six figures in its first year, as well as goals that I've not succeeded and basically I found exactly the things that I did for the goals that I have done compared to the goals that I kind of failed at. And today we are going to talk about it so you guys can have successful goals for your successful future that is defined by your own definition of success. I'm sorry if I look like I'm choking because I am this turtleneck's choking me to death. Let's start out with the first thing. I know the title says goals but we're not going to be talking about goals because frankly goals get you nowhere. We're going to reframe this to James Clear's Atomic Habits Rule of Systems. Systems baby. Let's look at weight loss. Say that you want to get to 80 kilos on the scale. That's a really awesome goal but you basically have no control whatsoever what your weight is going to be. There are so many other other factors. I'm sorry, I'm really scared that I'm flashing people. Okay, cool. Other factors that impact your weight that you can't control. For example, genetics. So that's not a good goal. Neither is like a monetary value like a number. Say you want to earn 60k a year. Yeah, you can go for a job in which you earn 60k a year, but there's no guarantee that you will earn 60k a year. For example, a pandemic might happen. I know, crazy. Who would have thought? Guys, throw goals out of your head. Just like grab them and then because we're looking at systems, baby. So what are systems? Systems are basically what you implement to get to that goal that you wanted. For example, with the weight loss thing, instead of looking at what you weigh on a scale, think about what you wanna achieve. So you wanna lose weight, say you wanna lose body fat percentage. What do you have to do to get there? What systems do you need to implement to get to your end goal? End goal that we're not even thinking about, okay? When I went through my fitness journey, it was exercising five to six times a week for 45 minutes minutes, I kept it that simple, exercising five to six times a week. And the thing is, if I exercise five to six times a week, there is a really good chance that I'm going to get to my end goal of whatever weight loss I am thinking of. Or at least I'm going to get somewhere on that spectrum. I'm moving towards the goal of weight loss and it doesn't really matter what the scale weight is anyway, right? For example, maybe I want to make 60k in my business. What do I have to do every single day? What's the system that I have to implement to reach that 60 freaking K a year. Maybe it's finding a specific marketing strategy that I have to apply every single day that eventually will get to my goal of increasing my revenue or my profit. So if you have a list of goals already, check them out, but also use them as like a reference to create your list of systems. The second thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna look at the six months of the rest of the year, right? Your life can change. But honestly, six months is still pretty big. It's like looking at the year, which is like 12 months. And I honestly cannot tell you where I'll be at the end of each 12 months. So my favorite tip is to take those six months and split it down into quarters. So basically, if you have a year, it'll be quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. And because we're at mid-year, we're gonna take the six months and then split it right down the middle. So we have three month goals. So I want you guys to take your systems that you figured out. For example, I exercise five six times a week and then only apply them for three months. Why the hell do I do that? It's because three months is a manageable time to actually think about and make a difference and having an end date in mind is going to make you do it because you know, you know you only just have to exercise for five or six days a week for only three months instead of six months which is really scary and really big. We're trying to make it really manageable for the brain and three months is more manageable. If you want to cut it down even more and just do two months 
months and think about only two months ahead and do it. Goals that I have failed at are goals that I've like taken on for 12 months and I just don't want to do because I don't want to do them for 12 months. Just having the option that you don't have to do it after three months like honestly helps. You'll probably end up doing it more than three months. So people say it takes about 30 days of doing a habit consistently for you to keep doing it and it just being part of like your person. We're honestly just tricking our brain. We're tricking our brain to be like oh you only have to do it for like this amount of time and then your brain will eventually be like oh but I'm used to it so I'm just gonna keep doing that and it's a healthy habit and then <laughs> The next thing that we're gonna do to get the mid your goals going is figure out whether making your goals public or keeping your goals to yourself makes you more successful at doing them. For a lot of people, having an accountability partner or like making an Instagram to show your fitness journey or your business journey really freaking helps. It's an accountability system because you're so afraid of disappointing other people more than disappointing yourself, unfortunately. It works for a lot of people. Personally, it does not work for me. I found as soon as I announce my goals or what I want to do in the future to people in my head it just checks it off it's like oh you've done it because you've announced it and you've done it I haven't freaking done it I'm a liar but that's how my brain works it thinks that it succeeded its goal because I've said it out loud so for me I like to keep things very private very personal and I only announce things after I've done it or after I've made significant progress on something there's literally like not Nothing wrong with either way it just depends on what works for you so figure it out maybe test it out maybe look back reflect on your previous goals and see what's happened then sorry mid video dance we are all very different people. What's gonna work for me is not always gonna work for you, but I'm hoping a lot of this stuff does work for you, and I think it will, so. Okay, so the last biggest tip that I have to set your media goals and actually have them work is to have a reward in the future. Say it's a fitness goal, book a trip. Book a photo shoot that you're like, oh, I, I need to look good for that. In three months time, so you know that you have something that's looming around the corner that you have to be specific specifically succeeding your goal at. Maybe you want to start a YouTube channel, maybe plan a party and not let people know what it is until that day and then be like, oh look, this is actually a party because I reached 5,000 subscribers. I'm really just trying to think of things on top of my head. I feel like you guys can do much better for your goals. <laughs> you don't have to do it at the end of three months. Maybe it's like just a simple, like I'll buy a takeaway coffee if I get all these things done in a week. Make sure that it like makes sense for your goal, for example, when I was doing my fitness journey, I was like, I'll buy a really fancy athletic fitness outfit. And it wasn't me just like having a reward of food that would kind of like negate what I was doing throughout the week. I'm really unhealthy food. But that also might work for you. I'm really hungry. <laughs> my stomach just grumbled with the sound of food. So for each of your systems and goals, make sure that you do have a reward, whether you want to make that weekly, monthly, or by the end of the three months. I am not just making this up these processes and what I use I have done so much research on and I've succeeded in so many of my goals using this framework using this formula and I assure you if you stick to this there's literally little way that this would go wrong and would not work for your goals or make you achieve that like really weird goal that you've set that is kind of unattainable you will somehow fit in the spectrum okay <laughs> there you go that is how you get your mid-year goal to actually work. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to comment and subscribe. It really helps me out. I'm trying to post more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I hope I wasn't flashing my bra this whole time. Goodbye. Oh, my legs are numb.